Hi, I am Muneaki Hase. We are conducting physics-based research using ultra short pulse laser and test waves to explore elementary excited states in solids and to develop new materials. We are always observing surprising experimental results in the laboratory. It's a very exciting research field. Mobuhai, I'm Jessica Afalia. Every year we witness how devices become smaller, processing speeds become faster, and more new materials enable us to do things better. In this laboratory, we use ultra-fast techniques to learn about the optical and electronic properties of materials that have the potential to become future devices. Welcome to the Hase Afala Lab. One direction of our research is toward spatiotemporal extreme laser spectroscopy. While the human eye can only see submillimeter size phenomena and submillosecond scale, electron microscopy and atomic force microscopy, for example, allow us to see sub-nanometer size viruses and atomic structures. However, the temporal resolution is poor and fast phenomena cannot be traced. So spatiotemporal extreme laser spectroscopy using pulsed lasers is required. We do pump probe experiments to investigate coherent lattice vibration in solids as well as in proteins. By irradiating samples with ultra-short laser pulses, Raman active phonon nodes can be impulsively excited and monitored by transient reflectivity or transmission measurements. This technique also allows us to coherently control collective atomic vibration and thereby structural phase transitions. For instance, we succeeded in the observation of phonon frequency combs in semiconductor silicon using 10 femtosecond laser pulses in collaboration with Professor Petek of the University of Pittsburgh. Here, more than 0.1 petahertz frequency optical modulation was obtained and may be useful for next-generation optical communications. Terahertz lies between the infrared and the microwave regions. Application-wise, it is at the cusp between electronics and photonics. But what used to be called a terahertz gap has become a frequency region of very active research and development. The past two decades have seen strides in terahertz applications, including imaging, high-speed communications, and ultra-fast spectroscopy. A feature of terahertz spectroscopy for materials is electronic motion has spectral signatures in the terahertz region. These signatures give us insight on how charge carriers move in the materials. Terahertz techniques have a sub-picosecond time resolution, the time scale at which electronic and optical processes happen. Hi everyone, my name is SDL Yablikim. As you know, diamond crystal has been believed a fantastic material for a variety of applications, including daily life and uh, telecommunications. In here, we are studying ultra-fast optical property of diamond crystals and its applications in quantum sensing. There are currently three doctoral students in the Hase Afala lab. Our graduates are employed in a wide range of fields, working for institutes such as the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, AIST, in Tsukuba, or companies such as Sony. Students can study solid state physics and quantum optics based on laser technology. We look forward to the participation of students who are interested in lasers and ultra-fast phenomena.